Hey YouTube, today I'm um, gonna make an, uh, a part two uh, video of how to save your SD card since that video is getting uh, all the attention on my channel. Uh, over 300,000 views now, so uh, a lot of people are asking the same question each and every time, asking for help. So, uh, gonna make a wrap up and try to uh, give you uh, all the tricks and all the information you need to uh, try uh, uh, reviving or saving your uh, SD card. So, first of all, uh, the cleaning uh, product to use uh, the best is rubbing alcohol uh, this one is 70% uh, you can even find some 90% or more but this is doing the job 70% you can find this uh, at the local drugstore for a couple of bucks it's pretty cheap so uh, that's the best you can use. Uh, you can use a special uh, product like this one, contact and head cleaner. I was using this a long time ago for cleaning the uh, head of the uh, tape deck. I was using this so uh, it is a good cleaner and uh, it's not gonna harm any uh, of your electronics. Uh, there's other sprays like a CRC uh, is making one it's QD cleaner or something like this uh, but the for me uh, rubbing alcohol isopropyl alcohol is the best and the cheapest and it, it is working uh, no you cannot use water uh, I will not tell you to use it water and electronics don't mix uh, this is good because it evaporates uh, very fast and does not leave any residue that's why it's good water is no good um, people are uh, asking if they can use water no 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 it's a no uh, some people even ask if they uh, can use um, nail polish remover no this one is your best option or a specialized cleaner for electronic but it's gonna be uh, pricey for sure so cleaning the card uh, nothing hard here you're just using a clean rag And you just put some and you give it a good rub with the alcohol. No problem there. You can do the same with uh, an SD card. The standard SD card, but this one has separators. Uh, between the, uh, the contacts so it's a bit harder but you can do the same and just wipe the contacts with the alcohol uh, so that's about it as you can see it's already uh, dried up that's why it's good and it's not leaving any residue the other option that is uh, working for a lot of people too is to use an eraser uh, one from a pencil or uh, what your child have uh, for school so you're using it and you rub the contact of the micro SD card or SD card whatever you have and don't worry you're not gonna break it give it a very good rub and when you're finished just use a clean rag and remove everything that can be on the contact even if you don't have any alcohol it will work 
for some. Okay, now, why cleaning will maybe save your SD card? People are manipulating uh, these little cards with their fingers and they are putting their big greasy fingers like this and they don't, just don't care so don't put your finger on the contacts you have grease on your finger and it can prevent uh, the uh, card reader from uh, reading correctly so don't put your finger on the contact if you have touched the contact clean it again give it a good rub probably a 90 percent of the problem is because people are manipulating them and touching the contact period so you can do the same with the eraser but this one is harder to get into uh, the separator of the contact but you still uh, can do it uh, if after cleaning your card uh, it's still not working now you need to pinpoint what is the problem uh, it can be your card but can be something else you can uh, try the card you're having problem with in another device like if you're having a problem in your phone well try it in a camera uh, or maybe you have an adapter and you can try it on your computer so if it's working in your computer and in a camera uh, maybe the problem is your phone or your SD card may be uh, not compatible you should uh, check if the uh, SD card you're trying on your device is compatible so if it's working on another device for sure problem is your your device you're trying your SD card in uh, and uh, if your device is the problem worst case scenario I uh, had a problem with this one before and I managed to make it uh, work by taking the SD card soaking it into the alcohol and putting in and out and in and out while it was fully damped with the alcohol multiple times like 10 20 times but if you do this remove the battery and wait before powering the device let it dry do it at your own risk but problem was the card reader there was dirt in it and putting rubbing alcohol into the reader and going in and out and in and out just cleaned it and it worked Uh, now, before saying that the card is no good, try another card in the device you're having problem with your card. Try multiple cards. See if they're working. If they're working, well, this is your faulty uh, SD card. If they're not working, you have the, maybe the proof that it's your device having problem with the SD card. Uh, good advice is that you should always back up your data if you would have backed up your data you would not be here watching this video uh, these, these days with cell phone and every app you can have uh, there's a reminder and you can uh, set a reminder like once a month uh, to uh, say hey it's time to back up your data so do it there's cloud you can back it up in your computer whatever but backing up your data is your best option now SD card yeah 
they're pretty little thing but like every other thing in life uh, they have a lifespan depends on how often you're going to write on it and read from it usually it's about uh, five years but can be more it can be less depends how you treat it um, so that's uh, probably uh, the best I can do for you about the uh, SD card um, if it's still not working maybe it's dead for good maybe you can try some uh, recovery software I will uh, leave a link on uh, how to uh, format it there's a special software for this from uh, sdcard.org uh, or something like this I will leave the comment down there in the uh, description uh, section um, so that's about it folks most important thing important thing sorry don't put your greasy finger on the contact so if you like what you saw uh, leave a comment give a thumbs up and share and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching